Hi, in this video, we will be seeing what is phase biometrics and what are the different components required to build a phase biometric system. So let's get into the details of this. So phase biometrics is basically identifying facial features from a, it can be a photograph, it can be a video or live camera and take that facial facial features and compare it to an uh, either uh, reference image uh, that we take take in case of banking system, right? We may have some reference photo or take in case of any other security system or uh, attendance system, we may have some reference photo. We take the incoming live feed and then comparing with the reference image to identify or authorize humans into systems or premises, right? So that's what phase biometrics is. Now, when we talk about phase biometrics, there are multiple components that we comes into play to build a phase biometric system. So these are all the different components that typically uh, come into play. If you see over here on the top, you have an image. Uh, this is the input image. And then the very first activity that you do is phase detection. So you have a live camera or a or a video or an image, right? Yeah, that can be one person or a multiple person. Or that can be multiple humans in the uh, video image, right? So you want to detect faces in the image. So that is the very first activity. So what you do is you take the input image and then you detect a faces. If you see over here, here, there is a bounding box against the face below. So that's what face detection does. It captures the image, it detects face or faces. There can be multiple faces as well. The next step is take this particular face and then cut only the bounding box location where the face is available. And that's why the next step you do pre-processing. You take the face uh, image alone. And at this stage, you can do some kind of uh, image processing techniques like blurring or contrast, uh, or you want to remove some noise in the image. And that's what you do in the pre-processing phase. Now, there can be a lot of use cases that can be uh, that can be added in this phase itself. Say if you have a smart advertisement board and you want to defer, you want to kind of uh, uh, put advertisement or display advertisement according to a gender of a person or age of a person, you can use this face attribute to kind of uh, get age. There are models that you can build uh, to get information on the age of a person or gender of a person. So you can do that. But uh, coming to the face uh, recognition uh, system or face biometric system, the next thing basically you do is you do feature extraction. The feature extraction is basically you take this particular face image and then uh, basically you have a model that will give an uh, more kind of a embedding of this particular face. So finally, it will be just like an uh, uh, set of array of bytes that you get out of this face. This is a unique signature for the face, like you have a signature for your voice, that is a voice biometric, or you have like your own unique signature that you put. This is going to be a unique signature in the feature extraction phase for this particular face. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this face, they take this uh, uh, embed, uh, embedding layer uh, from here, and then you can do multiple use cases. You can do either face verification or face identification. Now, both look similar, but let me tell you like uh, what is the difference over here. Now, face verification is one to one. So in the sense you have a reference image, you take the reference image and then compare it against the incoming uh, feature embedding. Right, and then you see whether there's a match or not. So typically take an attendance system. What you do is when you go into an office premise, you swipe your card. Once you swipe your card, they know your employee ID. So they will just take the image associated with the employee ID and then do a one on one verification. They don't compare typically the face against the entire database and find out who it is because your first set of authentication is going to be an uh, first uh, going to be your employee ID. Card, right now take your onky online banking system it's a similar way so when you log into your online you will give your password and other information rather than having other kind of verification you can have face id as your verification they already know that you have entered your password and this is the second level of verification that is face verification face verification is one on one next is the face identification is basically uh identifying a face from uh just just by uh just 
taking the face attributes and looking up into an huge databases. So typically, if you see like all the uh, CBI or FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation and all, they they kind of uh, compare faces against uh, a criminal database or known identity database to check who, who the person is, right? So in that case, they don't have much information. They only have the face attribute. What they will do is they'll take this and run this uh, face, against, search this face against millions of millions of other people to find out if it's a known suspect or something like that. And that's why the face identification comes into play. And here it's one to many. You take one image and compare it, compare it against many of them. Right. And you can have a file system or you can have a database that has all this reference signature or all the identities of the face that can be compared against. So when we take a talk about face biometric system, these are the different components that you will encounter. Now, I have a separate video on face detection. I'm going to put video on other uh, part as well, like getting the embedding out of the face, the face uh, identification and all. The face detection is already something I have put. You can click the link on the top and check my face detection video. So so that is basically uh, the key components of this particular system. Now, when we talk about face detection, the face detection is nothing but identifying human faces in digital images. And face identification is basically, as I said, it's one to many face mapping. You are comparing the faces against all the registered person or all the uh, identity that you are interested in right and face verification one on one mapping you are just verifying whether the claimed identity uh, is the person who um, who is basically getting authorization for right it can be an online authorization or it can be online authorization into an premises the final thing is what are the use cases out of this system if you take for face verification it can be your uh, online account verification when you are using a card rather than using other means of authenticating you can have one more layer where uh, you can uh, verify by face the attendance system is a pretty common use case the office uh, security clearance is other one uh, the pension and visa verification now uh, pension verification is a uh, pretty uh, huge use case so basically a lot of countries mandate a uh, pension receiver to come and every year uh, verify whether they are um, they, they are alive and uh, they they're basically uh, just to make sure that they're not paying pension to someone like who are no longer exist right so this can be a remote verification system where they can log in into an portal and use the face to verify it right that is the other one face identification you basically may uh, match faces to a negative list uh, so in the retail industry typically uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, shop for shop, you can basically flag shoplifters so somebody might have come and the security camera has identified them as shoplifters right they later uh, what they can do is they can take the shoplifter faces store in the database and any faces that entering the retail store can be compared and match against that and similarly the final one is it can be able to search uh, a huge criminal database so if there is some issue or something like that and a person is identified in that particular uh, scene of crime they can compare it against other uh, criminal activity so th these are the different use cases and components of your face biometric system uh, i will cover each of this in detail we will do on hands-on demo using python and we will also take this and deploy it in the edge of a device uh, to do verification and identity face identification thank you very much